Hey guys, welcome back to some more Snooker 19 and part 40 of our Ronnie O'Sullivan career mode. I cannot believe that we are 40 episodes into Snooker 19. Thank you for all of the incredible support so far. I really do appreciate it and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. And uh, yeah, today we start the champion of champions trophy. Let's see uh, who we've got in the first round. Or shall we have a look at how the season's gone so far? Just to tease you guys a little bit more. You can see we've won our last uh, at least 10 matches. I'm not entirely sure how far back that stretches. We've only had four losses all season, uh, which is, is fantastic. We got to the semi-final of the Riga Masters. Um, and then skipped a few events. Quarter-final of the Paul Hunter Classic. Semi-final of the Shanghai uh, and last 16 of six, the Six Red Championship. But in the last two tournaments, we have won them. We won the European Masters against Mark Selby, nine frames to seven. And last night, we had a thriller in the English Open final. We beat John Higgins by nine frames to eight in the deciding frame. And uh, now we move on to the champion of champions. We are ranked second in the world. We're still quite a way behind Mark Selby because he won the uh, international championship, which we didn't actually play. Uh, we have moved up to um, here above all these uh, one-time wonders, <laughs> um, including Neil Folds, funnily enough. But uh, we are equivalent of, of Dennis Taylor. In terms of rank and titles, which is brilliant. Uh, we've filled up the trophy cabinet a little bit more, and now we're ready to fight for another one. Who's it going to be in the first round? Stuart Bingham. Well, hell, this is going to be a, a Kraken match. Uh, Stuart Bingham in this first round. Obviously, this is the group stage, uh, so we'll play Stuart Bingham in the, the, the group match. If we go through that, then we'll go through the group final, and then after that, there's a semi final and final. So there's only Four ma possible matches in this tournament. Let's see how it goes. The first ITV event of the season. Champion of champions. Maybe we'll hear Clive Everton on the mic. Who knows? Hello and welcome to a tournament full of winners. It's the champion of champions. It's high prestige and considered by some as the fourth major. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame, Stuart Bingham to break. Well, there we are with our shiny new um, <laughs> waistcoat. <laughs> Got to say, I'm not that big a fan of it now that I've seen it in uh, in action. I think it would look nicer with a, a black shirt, but Ronnie just doesn't suit it. <laughs> but nevertheless, um, you know, it's something different away. I think it's better than charcoal, personally. You'll have to be very we careful there. with the pace here. We went all out with the uh, the brown shoes as well, making Ronnie look stylish. Um, <laughs> that's a good safety. That's a good start of the tournament for that's us. An excellent shot and a challenging snooker. He won't want to underhit this shot. Well, he gets out of the snooker, but I think he's left this one up into the top right corner, which he has. So, as Neil says, a half chance here to get our Champion of Champions campaign underway, but we miss it. We miss it, which was quite surprising, actually. He needs to be careful of not overhitting this. Stu Bingham has just bust them open and I have no idea why. That's what on earth shot, has Stuart just done there? <laughs> I have He's no idea. Now we can't go for that one, not when there's this one over the pocket. So we've got the pink into the, the same pocket here. Uh, one. Probably inclined to play the brown if it passes this red, actually. I just don't want to spoil things down the other end of the table with the pink. So, But then, what do we get on with the brown? I guess the, yes, the red on the, the right-hand side. Great pot. Well, he couldn't have played that any better. Superb positional shot. Five. 
I just don't know what Bingham played there. But Bingham has uh, beaten us this season. He's aiming One to of only into the right corner. Two players to achieve that, along with That's Selby. A so. That's a wonderful, wonderful pot. You know, he's no Six. mug. He's actually pretty good on this game. We've missed. Ooh, how's that gone in? How has that gone in? 13. We'll blame it on it being the first day of the tournament. <laughs> Slidey pockets. Need a fortune kiss, and we have had one there. 13. But, uh, yeah, not he sure how I feel about the waistcoat. Into the pocket. I feel like with anyone but Roddy, it would it would look okay, but 21. it just looks weird. <laughs> just looks weird. But, uh, you know, we'll have a bit of fun with it. Um, <clears throat> I do like the brown shoes, though. But it's more of a Sean Murphy than an O'Sullivan look. But, uh, you know, who's to say we can't make Ronnie more fashionable? <laughs> oh, somebody sneezed just on the back backswing there. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't put us off too much. But, uh, that was quite funny. So, knock this red in. You'll have to use the rest here. We shall make it a little more awkward. And that's there, just... That's well played with the rest. 30. And this is a, a positive start for us. Certainly have a lot of confidence bubbling in our... 37. Uh, ...veins at the moment. We are certainly on track. For a very positive season, two victories already. So this pot's into the right corner. Bring another risky shot here, but it goes in. Down it goes. Great queuing there. Thirty-eight. Really well played. That's pretty decent. Forty-five. Can't dig down enough on that, so but we can play this with a bit of right hand side. The cable safe and tight the cushion here. Mm, need a bit more pace. It's not quite happened for us. That wasn't as good as I'd uh, had hoped. So this black to the top corner now is a tough one. Shot coming up. But it's there. Spot. He'll be very happy with the position here. 53. The first 50 break of the competition. Chance, but a chance nonetheless. And that's another good pot. What a shot that is. Superb cubal control there. Ideal position. 54. So we set off for that. So, a bit of back spin into these two reds. It's worked out okay because we've got this red to the left middle pocket. And goodness me, somebody's got a nasty cough in the audience. Cough and a sneeze. He's looking <laughs> at the pot into the left middle. And nothing's phasing us at the shot. moment. Great technique, superb queuing. 62. So there's black. One more red for the frame. Just overran it slightly. Sixty nine. Think this top red goes, so um yeah, we'll have to play the more missable red. Still should be okay. This is a key shot coming up here. And it is. And in it goes. And that effectively shuts out his opponent in this frame. Seventy. So there you go. Seventy-five. Can we open our account at this tournament with a sentry? Certainly would be a, a good start. 
still don't know what Stuart was thinking though. <laughs> Seventy six. <laughs> to be to be perfectly honest, I have no idea what that shot was. Maybe some of you guys can let me know that he went for some outrageous plant that I didn't see, and he was unlucky, in fact. 83. Rather than just straight up reckless. <laughs> He's aiming for the left corner here. Tremendous spot. Well. 84. We've got a possible 142 on here, I think. Let me just see. Yeah, 142, so. We'll stay on well, the black because that, that would be a significant break to open uh, the tournament with. So 91. I was thinking, half thinking about bringing, putting the yellow back on its spot, but uh, you know, now that there's a 140 plus break on the cards, we've got to go for that. 92. But we're not perfect here. Certainly not perfect. He's playing the pot here. It's there though. There's oh, the sentry. Wonderful shot. Turn up in this match. Ninety-nine. Oh, not yet. <laughs> A little bit premature. He's looking to pop this into the right corner. <laughs> so here we go. What a century. Well played. So turn up this time. <laughs> One hundred. Oh, that's a cracker. It's a cracker. Right. Oh, I was trying to get a little flick on that yellow there. Seven. But uh, we're okay. Challenging pot along the cushion here. This isn't easy. That is a great but it's there. Shot. And have a look at this for a positional shot. That is absolutely inch perfect. 108. Well, 142 to open the tournament. Certainly wouldn't be too bad. We are the defending champions here, remember. After beating Kyron Wilson in the final. 115. Last year. This is a, a tough shot. This is a really tough shot. Just the colours now. He's played that it's there, very though. well with the rest. And I think we might be on the green as well. Unbelievable. He's taking this green on. Oh, and what a there. shot that is. Hundred and twenty. He's playing for the right corner here. What a top pot that was. So blue, pink and black for another 140 plus break. He'll want this to drop into the centre pocket. It's there. Here Little it bounce. Anything but straight. 129. Not bad. Could have been a lot worse. Just got to power this in. Looking to play this with a lot of power. That's okay. It's going to keep going. It's going to keep going. And that is Bob on. 135. So this black for the 142. This should be straightforward enough. And it's there. What a start to this Fantastic match. Clearance. A oh, complete yeah. clearance of the table. And the first frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan. And now the and we take the opening frame and we lead 1-0 so, so after that sentry. Frame gap and we'll be looking to apply some pressure on his opponent in this frame. Well, Stuart Bingham, uh, I thought was going to break off in, in frame two, but it's in fact us. And uh, that was a bit of a, a good first frame, wasn't it? One four two, uh, straight out of the block. Must be the lucky waistcoat. But uh, we did miss that long red up into the far right corner, and I have no idea what Stuart Bingham played. You know that was it was a pathetic shot, really. Um, he just bust everything open, and yeah, that's just 
one of the things. Um, but yeah, he's uh, hit the, the knuckle there. That's not good. Right. So we can cut this back into the corner. We'll drop it in. Coming give up. the pocket every sh every chance. It goes in, but uh, the shot there. we didn't manage One. to go into the black, so we'll just be snookering him behind here. Now, me, me biggest bit of advice for these shots is to sort of under hit the white in terms of the um, the aiming aid. You know, if you're getting too much of the black moving that way, then it is going to move that way. So just try and almost under hit it. Um, and that that should work out a That's treat the for you. He was after. Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. Something He's in. navigated his way out of the snooker, but he hasn't left the cue ball safe. Doesn't get out of the snooker very effectively, so well. You gotta say it. Little bit of right hand side there to throw it round. Uh, Bingham just hasn't settled down yet in this match. And um, he'll certainly be feeling the pressure if we can knock this black in and bring some reds into play. But we miss. And the whites in. Well, and look at the state of these reds. Ball run Bingham, you're up. Foul. <laughs> Ronnie O'Sullivan. One. Stuart Bingham, seven. So surely he's going to play on here. Doesn't want to overhit this. And he does. One. This needs to be played at the right pace. So I'll see it was at the Six Red Championship that Stuart Bingham uh, really well. beat us in. He did get a a, a maximum in that Four. match actually. Uh, He's lining this up. Maximum into the sixty-seven right middle break. Pocket. Got a couple of other sixties in oh, that match as well. Shot. It was a really good uh, encounter, a good battle. Um, but uh, he's certainly going to need to find some good form in this match. That's a great the black off it off off the Simply spot. Wonderful. Um, Seven. It wasn't the wasn't 13. the easiest shot. We were playing at a pace, trying to go into the pack, and you know, perhaps if we just dropped it in, it would have would have fell in. But uh, well, this has been a nervy start from Stu Bingham. And that's One or two mistakes starting to creep into his game. He needs to regain his focus here. So Stuart Bingham, 14. Bingham looking edgy so far. Or maybe it's the bright blue of our Nicely waistcoat done. that's putting Good them off. Putting them on off. Pink. Um, One. Yeah, we got the pink. It's getting on a red, that's the problem, though. Yeah, amazing. Amazingly enough, so I think we're gonna pop the blue into the, into so, the corner this instead. Pop into the right corner. We've That's over screwed it. Still got this Six. cut back, and we've also got the, the red into the middle pocket, which I think is the one that we're gonna go for. He's playing this into yeah. the right centre pocket. We missed the black that was similar to so that cut back before, so. Seven. Why risk it? Well, this blue one and off the cushion. Should be on a choice yeah, of reds. I, well. I want to play well. the, the sort of top red of these two. So this red here, I think that will open everything into play here. So, screw back up for... Well, it was meant to be the blue, it might have to be the pink 13. this time. Depends how straight this blue is. Mm, it's not, so will be the pink. So a little bit of top. Try and come through the gap. Nicely onto a red. Worked out quite nicely. We might even play the red 19. down the left hand side cushion here. 
screw cross for the pink into the same pocket and then you would say it's a frame winning chance you just got a glimpse of Ronnie's brown shoes there fantastic 20 so pink screw on and off the cushion cross for red into the opposite corner pocket 26 so yep that red goes that opens the pink into this, this is relatively easy pocket as well so starting to rack up the points quickly 27 could we get another ton up here perhaps I'm not sure there's enough enough points well, on the he's table taking it on to the left corner Playing very solidly. Nah, there isn't. There isn't enough points oh, on the table. Shot. Thirty-three. No turn-ups in this frame. You'll be glad to know. Thirty-four. On and off the cushion quite nicely. Just got to play this with a little touch well, of right-hand side, and that makes right it pocket. missable. That's a top shot. Hurry well up. And it has done. That's pretty good. Really good. Forty. So. For the pink again, and you know we've done pretty decently off this pink. We've got some good mileage off it. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. Great shot. It was a little bit wide, what but. What a uh, wonderful pot. Accurate enough, Forty anyway. Seven. Right. This should be pretty straightforward. Just want to. Hmm, I want it to be straight on the blue, really. Forty-eight. I wonder if that brown goes. It does. I think the brown might be the shot here. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Excellent shot. Just meant the cue ball was always coming well over this side. I was hoping that we'd be a little bit straight out on this uh, red, but still should be okay. We're 33 points in front, so just this red required. Important pot here. Beautiful. And it's there. It wobbled in a little bit, but we're okay. In this frame. I think this green passes the black. And it does. Come in and out of bulk. Back onto the yellow, so it could be another good little clearance here. Well, obviously no sentry, but... Uh, Nicely done. A possible 83. 58. Mm. Mm. Usually stuff no problem here. Well, as Toby would say, better than a smack in the face. <laughs> I think it was that they said. <laughs> 61. Right. Um. The fact that he's forced to use the rest makes it a little trickier. That's gone in as well. Impressive shot with the rest. 65. Blue into the corner now. He's going Almost to the left corner. Tougher pocket. than you think these ones. And that's missed. Ooh. Beautifully done. Seven. These pockets are playing quite generously this match. We we've got a couple that were quite a bit off. Not that pink though, but uh, we've had the cue ball on a string, you would have to say, 26. in these first two frames, and Stu Bingham looking very nervous. What a clearance. Amazing. And with that clearance of 83, we take the second frame, and we now lead by frame, two frames to nil. Well played to take that frame. 
Jesse starting to develop into a decent lead here. He'll want to ensure he keeps the pressure on his opponent. Thank you. The third frame. Stuart Bingham to break. So, Stu Bingham breaks off in frame three and after uh, that 1-4-2 and uh, that last clearance of 83, we currently lead 2-0 in this match and, you know, Stuart is, I think he's playing safe. you know, not playing too well, really. Uh, had a chance in that last frame, of course. But, uh, he has a chance here. It's not the best shot from us. Tricky pot coming up. He's gone for it, and he gets it right in the heart right of the time. pocket. Well played. One. It's half it's ball on the black. Straight, enough. straight into the pack. Well, he's just decided to Eight. play off uh, just the one red. So, Stewart. Decent position to take on a colour here. Nine. Sixteen. He's lining up the long red to the corner here. Mm, could be. Well played. Simply wonderful. 17. Nicely onto a red. So there's five reds right and see. That are possible. 23. I thought he'd missed that. <laughs> he was okay, though. Yeah, he's looking to drop this into the middle pocket. Oh, he misses Loose the red. Play like that isn't what you'd expect from a player of his quality. But Stuart Bingham, 30. He gets away with it. So, Stuart, uh, 30 ahead, of course. Just... Play the thin snick back to ball. Didn't want to hit the green, but uh, no day, no harm done. Pace is critical here. So there's always a red that was going to come out there. The question is, has the blue come to his rescue? Because he hasn't got a good cue ball, really. So, one good pot here. He's taking it on. Impressive shot. And there the we go. That's a great shot. So one. Question is, that red does go. Problem is, it's going to be very difficult to get to it if we pot the pink. So I think the long blue. Well, no surprises across. here with the long pot attempt. Another trademark crunching long pot. Six. So. Red, possibly screw off this pack, back for the pink. It's a delicate little shot. Yeah, always the chance that we were going to over screw that. Seven. But we're all right. Play the blue. Play it in such a way that I can avoid the green, but. Uh, I don't think that's not an option, so looking to play this with a lot of power. And the player was screwing right hand side instead. He's oh, finished this. a bit awkward here. Well, I thought it was gonna be good. Still might be if this red goes to the right middle. Mm, it doesn't. We can't get to that red, so that's end of break. It's disappointing. Yeah, I don't fancy that one. Just thin off this red, back up into the bulk area. I don't want to play this with too much pace. It's worked out beautifully, so over to you, Stuart. He'll be pleased with that. It looks safe. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Got to get the right contact on this. Once again, not the best cue ball. You've got to say. He's playing the pot here. What a great And another boss. great long pot from us. We run through. One. With two cushions. 
Should be a little black. We've got the green, obviously. Might be able to play that with a, a load of top and a little bit of left hand side just to straighten it up a little bit. He's taking this green on. That's an absolutely outstanding pot. We'll settle for that. That's pretty good. Four. So, this red. Screw up for the blue. Mm, not hard enough. It'll have to be the pink now. Five. The question is, how do we go into the next red? Let's have a little look. So mm, that's the only real possible red that, that we get onto. But how do you get to it? Unless you play with the, the cheat side. <laughs> Should we try it? The AI do it enough. Just wants to sink this into have the a look at this. corner pocket. <laughs> oh, <laughs> might not be on it, you know. Eleven. It's touching. Touching ball. Oh, that's devastating. Somebody's got a sneeze again in the in the audience. Surely we can't throw the angle that much. Mm. Well, never mind. I guess we're going to have to play back to bulk. So. He needs good control over the pace of the white with this shot. As long as it hurries up, that should be pretty good, and it is. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 11. A bit more of a, a scrappy frame, this one. And this time, she does get a good length of cue ball. Brilliantly played. Hit that at all as hard as we wanted to, but it's worked out okay. That yellow and brown now a very big target for Stewart. This, it could end badly. It's not bad, but I think he has left this red. This is really yeah. tricky. Fabulous pot. Once again, a little bit loose on the safety plate. One. And this time a much better chance to win the frame. This looks relatively easy. If we win three up with four to play it. Eight. I'd say it's virtually match over. So Definitely going to put a lot into this contribution. Nine. We can come once across. So, this pot into the right corner. No issues there. Yeah, a little bounce off the cushion. Extremely well here. And have a look at that. Fifteen. Probably an option of two or three red sit Oh, none of them go. They're all covering each other. So, that's good to know. I was going to play a similar shot, but we will just stun up for the pink this time. That's annoying. Sixteen. We'll have to play a similar shot to the one before. This time, absolutely perfect. Twenty-two. This red for the black. Set up like a little practice session. Once again. Twenty-three. Let's play the try not to hit the cushion challenge. Thirty. Some little stuns and screws. That's how you make big breaks in stunt it. Less that 31. cue ball has to travel, the better. Thirty-one. 
38. So, uh, Pace is 31 in here. front. That's red and black. Let's go 3 0 in front. 39. Just the black required here. There Nicely it is. Gone. And that shuts the door on his opponent in this frame. 46. Forty seven. Let's go for the blue. Let's try and keep this no cushion challenge going. We know what a prolific long potter he is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. What a magnificent pot that is. Fifty two. Just the colours to go. Might struggle here. Fifty four. Might very much struggle. I'm gonna have to just drop this in dead weight. Nah, it's gonna hit the cushion. Never mind. <laughs> End of the challenge. Right. He's going for the left corner pocket. as many cushions as we can challenge that was what four if it touches this one 61 <laughs> guess tight to it counts perfect queuing required for this shot that's a great demonstration of his cue power I don't know how that went in at that pace I really don't 66 This is no gimme. Outstanding pot. That's right out of the top drawer. 72. Yeah, it's been a, a nice little clearance. 79 if this He's black goes in. Corner here. Oh dear. That was terrible. Still struggle with them shots, to be honest, on this game. 72. And the frame... Ronnie O'Sullivan. And that but with breaks of 1, 4, 2, 83 and 72, we now Ronnie lead Stu Bingham by three frames to nil, and we only need one more frame to get through to the uh, group final, I guess. That's worked out. Mm, I was going to say it's worked out well, but we get the green. If we'd slipped past it, it would have been perfect. Well, it but... goes. Half a chance. Mm, it's miles off. Does that tell its own little story in this match now? That uh, shot. Uh, it's half a chance. Resignation, chance, really. Nonetheless. From Stuart. Oh, oh so he close. The long red. He needed some luck there, and he didn't get it. Similar to the one that we missed in the first frame, that one. He needs to be mindful of not under-hitting this shot. How's this looking? That's better. Impressive opening red. One. Mmm, nice shot. Six. If Stu can win this frame, he'll probably still fancy it, but... It's a Stuart big Bingham. if, the way Six. he's played so far. This won't be easy. Just want to get this in the jaws, really. I'm not bothered so about close, it going in. But he's missed it. That'll annoy him. Didn't want it to come back out. I wanted it to go along the cushion, but never mind. Not an easy one, but a half chance. No. Stuart's long game has just not been there. So, now an easier chance for us. After two half chances missed. Get the opportunity to One. win the match here. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, what I might do. Run through, take that red off the black spot. Eight. Uh, I went on the pink spot. That's what I was worried about, you see. I didn't want it to get knocked out of play. But, uh, too late now. Oh, come on, this needs to run. I don't 
hasn't. Nine. Does the black girl? No. This blue couldn't really be straighter. I'm thinking we can pop that red, but uh, it's going to be a tricky one with the rest, so. Uh, come back too far. Never mind. That's the end of the first chance of this uh, no easy fourth this. frame. Got a run. Just about has. Tough shot. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Hampered him. He's playing the safety shot here. Yeah, played it well. Now then, do we go for a statement of intent here with the attack and safety? He needs to be wary of underhitting this. Needed more pace, but look at the line. He would have had that behind the green there. Not Pity. Really intended at all. That's a poor shot. Pace is key. So, one. What's he going to pot here? He won't want to underhit this shot. Nothing. Just the safety. Amazing that. And what a terrible one he's played as well. No idea what he was trying to do there. He's not played that well. So. Tough shot, but he could have played it better. Stuart Bingham, one. Just touch your right hand side here to take it up towards the blue. Maybe a bit too much there. Ah, the yellow doesn't go. One. Pink goes, I think. Let's have a little look. Yeah, I think the pink might be the shot here. It's a tough little one, but. Not easy with the rest. That red's a decent guide. Yep. No problems with the rest there. Well played. You knew if it went past the red, it was going close Seven. to the pocket. So, yeah. Good shot, and again, half a chance here. But they're not going in cleanly. Once again, we're the wrong Eight. side of the blue, so just going to have to play a little, little run through here, play the red into the left corner pocket 13 got no excuses for getting the wrong side this time well he's taking it on to the left corner no absolutely there. no excuses wonderful shot that was a terrible 14. shot so I'm gonna have to just come back a couple of inches yeah, that's about right. Nineteen. Red into the right corner. Pink doesn't go into that pocket, so we are going to have to come back up for the blue. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Nicely oh, done. Hit the pink. He seems full of confidence at the moment. Very fortunate there. Especially if we're on this black. Oh, oh well. Yeah, we didn't intend to hit that pink there. But now we've got the black back on its spot. It's rightful place, and uh, yeah, it's just not come together for Stewart today. He's had a couple of chances, but uh, failed to take them at the end of the day, and you know, we've been taking the majority of our chances. So I think we can certainly be positive about our our form going into this tournament, and. And uh, get more success at this tournament for Ronnie. And said that. I'm sure that red goes. Could probably drop drop it in off the um, knuckle. Yeah. It's going to have to be a very soft shot. This should be pretty straightforward. Mm. 
just Thank about. You. Thought we'd missed it, to be quite honest with you. Okay. Have a pink now. No real problem here. Pink into the yellow, uh, sorry, red into the yellow pocket. I think unless these two are a plant, but they don't look good from here. And they're certainly not. So, still a couple of good pots away from winning this pot? match. No doubt. There's one of them. Just look at that for a positional shot. Superb. Forty-three. It's not too bad for breaking into the cluster here. If we miss them, we should be on the Very other well red. Played. Forty-nine. It's not ideal. Touching ball. Just the red required. But that red going in means that Stu probably won't come back to the table at this point. Um, there's a possibility of a second century of the match. Yeah, played it well. 56. Fifty-seven. But yeah, I think it's, it's been a half decent performance. It'll be interesting to see who we get 63. in the group final. Um, obviously, champion of champions isn't top sixteen; it's the uh, the tournament winner. So it could be this into the right corner. Literally anyone. Um, Matt Selb, Jimmy Robertson. It, it could be a bunch of players. Um, Lauren said that we've already had the Indian Open and the um, European Masters. So, potentially, uh, Jimmy Robertson and Matt Salt won't be in it. Um, yeah, we can still make the centre here. I was just double checking. So, probably play the blue here. And then yellow in the green pocket. So. But uh, yeah, very interested to see who we get. Very important. That's a top shot. Well played. Seventy-five. Neil Robertson is is obviously in the tournament. Um, Just the colours remaining. Being a minute for winning Gibraltar. Seventy-seven. Trying to work out who the other winners are. Um. Eighty. Yeah, you know, they do tend to just top them up with uh, the top sixteen if uh, there's not enough, which I don't think there will be. Selby's won a few this season, of course. Um, Mark Allen will be in it as well for the Scottish 84. Open. Judd Trump for the Masters, so you know it'll be usual suspects more than likely. He's looking to pop this into the right corner. That's a beauty. Eighty-nine. Well, yeah, there's pink and black for another century. Well, it's been a break-building masterclass today. Playing this with plenty of power. That completes a brilliant clearance. Very impressive. Hundred and two. Frame and match. Ronnie O'Sullivan. And that So there you have it. We're through to, to the quarterfinals. So there we go. Stu Bingham disappointing. Oh, only actually scored what? What's that? 50, 58 points in the match. It's not enough <laughs> to even win a frame uh, these days. So, yeah, disappointing performance from him. But uh, I'm sure we'll have another battle with him at some point. But uh, some sort of revenge for our defeat 
in the Six Red Championship. Next, we play Mark Allen in the quarterfinal of the Champion of Champions, or the group final, I guess. Um, the Pistol, of course. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Best of 11, so it'll be over two episodes. Well, look at all those W's there. We are certainly in a rich vein of form at the moment. If you've enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily Snooker 19 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.